Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison to the top two 7-inch tablets on the market. Over here we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, which is definitely the one I would have recommended a couple of weeks ago. However, now we have the Nexus 7, and the new Nexus 7 is by not only a strong competitor to say the least, but uh, easily specs wise uh, gonna take it right away. So let's see which one really is the best tablet depending on what you are using it for. This is a side by side comparison on the Galaxy Tab 3 versus the Nexus 7. So when it comes to look and feel of the tablets, we already get a very different look just by looking at the uh, rear side of each tablet. Uh, for one, the Samsung is a smaller, compacter size compared to the Nexus 7. Uh, however, uh, different textures on the back right away too. Samsung has uh, a glossy plastic which uh, definitely leaves fingerprints right away and it's very shiny, just not as appealing as the Nexus backing, uh, which is a nice soft coated uh, plastic texture, which just feels uh, very premium when compared to each other. Uh, the Galaxy Tab 7.0 really uh, keeps the traditional form factor of the current Galaxy line, so uh, very similar in how it uh, is. Um, however, we do have some extras on here, which I'll go over on the extra section later on, but uh, it feels very nice, uh, very easy in the hand, uh, very light and very thin uh, in the seven inch market. The Nexus uh, feels very uh, good all around. It just, the backing really just makes it a pleasure to hold. Uh, look and feel wise, it's not too far off from the previous uh, Nexus, but uh, definitely I would just feel they kind of stepped up the more premium feeling uh, on the device. So overall look and feel, um, I would say that I like the size of the Samsung, but overall look and feel I have to get to the Nexus. It just feels like a more premium device. So I do like uh, the Nexus 7 more, and I would recommend that over for a look and feel. All right, let's go into web browsing. Now when it comes to web browsing, uh, the Nexus of course comes with the stock Chrome browser. Uh, that you can get on any Android device, but for this uh, comparison, I'm going to be using the stock internet browser that comes with the Samsung because you don't get Chrome with it right away and most people uh, might not download Chrome per se. I obviously would, but not everyone would. So I'm gonna go with the stock browsers that uh, both devices come with for uh, this comparison. So let's open them both up and we'll go both to phone, oops. I probably should have done that same time. Okay. And I'm going to stop both. And then, so these are connected to the same uh, Wi Fi connection. And Chrome seems to be winning a little bit. And let's see which one finishes overall. So both are still going. And now I always use a very uh, heavy um, website just so we can really get a sense because if you get obviously lighter websites or mobile websites this will load a lot quicker but I always like to get the uh, harder to load websites just to kind of give you the difference of how it will be. Now keep in mind these are still actually loading so the Samsung just finished so it did finish first and the Chrome is taking a little bit longer. Um, it should be about complete now. All Everything is loaded. But uh, one thing, uh, now the Chrome is finished. So uh, Samsung loaded a little bit quicker, a heavy web page compared to the Chrome browser. However, let's check out responsiveness. So both are pretty responsive. I would say it seems like the Samsung, the stock browser is a little bit better. but it did have some artifacting there, whereas the Chrome browser doesn't. 
But another uh, very important thing I want to mention with the uh, browsers is that when we zoom in, just let's zoom into this level. Uh, you can make out the Nexus a lot better simply because it has a much better screen resolution. On the Nexus, you have a 1080p screen resolution, whereas this, you have an under 720p resolution on the Galaxy Tab 3. So overall for web browsing, uh, although the Samsung did a little, little bit quicker uh, than it, this one has a little bit less artifacting and definitely clearer text. So I will give the uh, web browsing to the Nexus 7. Now when it comes to music playback, uh, these two tablets have speakers in entirely different positions. So um, the Samsung has it on the bottom right here. So there are two speakers, stereo speakers, however they're both on the same side, which obviously doesn't usually give the best kind of sound. Uh, the Nexus, however, has stereo speakers on both the top and bottom, which gives a much better stereo sound. However, they're on the back, which uh, tends to get muffled if you uh, leave it on. Now, it is on the curved side of the back, but it's still noticeable that it gets muffled um, on certain ways you hold it. So, uh, we're going to test out the sound, first starting with the Nexus and then jumping back and forth between them at least once. All right, so let's play these songs. So, in terms of speakers, hopefully you could hear that clearly in the video. Um, the Samsung actually, surprisingly, I would say, does a better job of uh, sound. It's just a lot louder. The Asus, uh, or sorry, the, well, the Nexus Asus, um, definitely just keeps a lower volume. Um, now you can, uh, unfortunately, you can't even do uh, volume plus anymore because of the newer version of Android doesn't work with it. Uh, but so you can't amplify sound, which is really uh, sucks. So this is the sound that you have to stick with unless you, of course, root the device. Uh, but out of the box, the Samsung seems to have the better sound quality. Now, when it comes to video playback, you have, uh, again, screen resolution will probably play an important role in this. You have a 1080p screen and here uh, under 720p screen. So, um, realistically, we should see a better screen right here, but let's check it out to make sure. Okay, one, two, three. There. Okay, so now let me try to go like to a specific scene just so we can see. Oops. Okay, so. So this is about the same exact uh, screen on it. So now I'm going to put one closer so you can see it. And then the other one. So hopefully that is going through from the video. Uh, the clarity is going to be better on the uh, Nexus 7 
just the 1080p quality is just going to um, outweigh the Samsung. Although Samsung does very good when it comes to colors, um, I would say just a little bit better in comparison to uh, the Nexus 7. It's still going to be the Nexus 7 for video watching. So for watching videos, the 1080p screen is just going to be a lot better. Um, well, I would say a better, not a lot better. Now, when it comes to the cameras on these devices, the Nexus 7 is going to have a slight edge on the rear camera. You have a 5 megapixel on the rear, uh, where on the Samsung you have a 3.2. However, both have a 1.3 rear uh, front camera for video chatting capabilities. In terms of the camera itself, um, I would say I do like a little bit more the, um, the uh, Samsung interface in terms of just the different scene modes you can do and just a little bit more I would say you can do uh, with it. It just seems a little bit better. However, with the uh, Nexus, you do have one thing that I have uh, long over wanted uh, for my phone, and that is the Photosphere uh, section. Um, in terms of like the new thing where um, you can kind of do the swipe one to grab that, I just don't see it as, as user uh, friendly. I like the Moto X version uh, much more than the Nexus version. So uh, for interface, I like the camera on this one more. However, when it comes to quality, um, one thing that is noticeable is you have a touch to focus on here, whereas this is a fixed focus. So that is not going to bode well. And it's noticeable in the, video, in the photos that were taken. So let's take a look at the photos now. Okay, so first the uh, front camera. Um, we will notice on the front camera, it is pretty close actually. Um, I would say the Samsung handled the lighting better. This kind of just kind of got whitewashed by it. Um, in terms of clarity though, they're pretty okay. Uh, like the beard is pretty uh, non, um, I would say clarity on either one. Um, I would say the shirt uh, comes out a little bit clearer on the uh, Samsung, but uh, overall they're pretty similar, I would say. However, when it comes to the photo with the rear camera, you can easily see just the Nexus 7 does a better job of color reproduction and clarity. So if we look at just the Google uh, symbol on there, we can definitely see a difference right away on the clarity. And again, just the color reproduction. So overall, the camera for um, a tablet would be better on the Nexus 7. Now, when it comes to gaming, it's really, really easy. It would easily be the Nexus 7 uh, for gaming for a couple of factors. One, it has the far better graphics card, uh, so it's gonna play being games better. It also has a better processor, so you do have a quad core versus a dual core, which on gaming is when it plays a huge factor into it. But another big thing is that the um, Galaxy Tab 3 in the US only comes in an eight gig uh, size, which means you can't really store even three high-end games on there. Whereas on the Nexus 7, you can store plenty of games on here. I have the 32 gig model, but even with the 16, you can definitely store a good amount of high-end games that will play very well. Uh, so for that reason, gaming, uh, you would easily want to go with the Nexus 7. Now, when it comes to battery life, this is one area where the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 will play a, a better role comparing to the Nexus. Um, it just definitely edges out uh, the Nexus in a battery. The Nexus, I have noticed it, it drains uh, fairly uh, good. It's, it's, not, it's not, it's a bad battery, but overall the Samsung seems, the more and more I use it, the more it's lasting easily over uh, the six and seven hour mark, it seems like, so I, I really don't have to charge it that often. Whereas the Nexus, um, if I do even use it for a little bit during the day, it will drain a good amount. Um, now, not to say that the Nexus is a bad battery life, uh, the best I've seen on it has been um, in a five hour usage, 
I did four hours of uh, video playback. Um, so needless to say, that was a very, very good um, experience. But other than that, I kind of just keep, it keeps draining more than I would want to. Now this is with um, brightness at full, um, which I always have it at, so that will uh, cause it to drain. But um, it's a it's a good battery life, definitely five hours, and it can stretch as far as um, I would probably say six or seven. However, in terms of battery life, this one, uh, standby time and everything, it just seems to do a little bit better on the Samsung. Uh, so more and more I've played around with both, the more I say the Samsung Gust F3 has a better battery life. Now, when it comes to extras, that's usually not a Nexus's strong point. Uh, for the Samsung, however, it does uh, pack um, two main extras that does help it out when comparing it to the Nexus. First one is going to be, obviously, the expandable storage. You can add up to a 64 gig memory card with your Samsung. So you can't expand the storage that way. This doesn't help you with internal apps. So if you're a heavy app user, the Nexus will still have the better solution, having more built-in storage. However, if you're just a media user heavy, so your music, your movies, uh, photos can all go into a micro SD card and you'll be fine. The second feature is going to be the IR Blaster, which allows you to control your TV through the Watch On app, uh, which does uh, suit very well. I mean, for a seven inch, it's a little bit easier to use than comparing to like a 10 inch tablet. I feel you're gonna use it on a tablet more with a seven inch comparing to a 10 inch. Uh, one last software thing I would definitely say that I like about um, the Samsung over the Nexus is that it does come with an office built into it. Now obviously you can get free office, um, free office softwares for um, the Nexus 7 and now you have Microsoft Office coming to um, Android devices but only if you have a subscription. It's just nice to have an office solution built in uh, to be able to do Word, PowerPoint, Excel very easily and it is far better than the Google Drive solution, I would say. So uh, in extras, the Samsung uh, will take uh, it over the Nexus. Now, when we compare price point, uh, it's actually a very tough decision and I will tell you why I chose which one I chose. So obviously when we just look at the price dollars right away, $199 for the Samsung, $229 for the Nexus. So obviously the Samsung is going to be the less expensive price. However, I do have to take into account one very important thing and that's memory at the top. So eight gigs versus 16 gigs for $30 more. Now you could argue, well, I can get like a 16 gig or even 32 gig memory card for $30. However, there's a big difference in that. Um, not only do we uh, get more storage built into it, which you can have to use for apps. For apps, again, you need built-in storage. So 8 gigs, even with expandable memory, will not help in that. But we also get things like better screen resolution and a much better processor and graphics card. So for, and a better rear camera as well. For overall users, I would say that this is the better bang for your buck. Um, and that is how I always uh, judge price. Even though the Samsung is a cheaper price, this one is the better bang for your buck. Um, so because they're so close in price, even though normally I would give just, well, which one's the cheaper price, I have to give it to the Nexus just because it is the better bang for your buck. All right, let's tie them up and see which one's better. All right guys, so let's tie them up and see who won. So when it comes to look and feel, it will go to the Nexus 7. This has a better overall look and feel. I like the smaller compact of the Samsung, but overall look and feel is gonna go to the Nexus 7. Just feels more premium. Web browsing, we'll go to the Nexus 7. Um, although both load relatively the same kind of speed, um, when you're doing pinch to zoom or double tapping, it just seems to run a little bit smoother on the Nexus 7 as well as definitely the clarity because the 1080p screen text is just a lot clearer from further away with the Nexus 7. When it comes to music, it will go to the Samsung Gauss Tab 3. Just better when it comes to uh, the audio quality, the speakers are louder, even though 
uh, their placement isn't ideal. When it comes to movies, it will go to the Nexus 7. Just a bit better uh, when it comes to movie quality, just going to be uh, clearer and sharper for that purpose. When it comes to camera, it will also go to the Nexus, just the five megapixel rear camera is a bit better and you have uh, the ability to uh, select focus. It's not just a fixed focus, it's autofocus. When it comes to gaming, it will also go to the Nexus, uh, just a much better graphics card and processor, which is good for gamers, not to mention the more built-in storage. When it comes to battery life, this will actually go to the Galaxy Tab 3. The Samsung just does have a better uh, battery life overall and seems to drain a little bit less quickly. This could be obviously, of course, to the processor speed difference, graphics card, as well as screen uh, resolution. It does take its toll on the Nexus a bit more than it does the Galaxy. So uh, when it comes to extras, this will also go to the Galaxy. Nexus is a stock kind of version, and in terms of hardware, it doesn't have anything extra. Uh, however, the Samsung uh, will definitely have a couple of things such as expandable memory, the IR blaster, and even a built-in office program. When it comes to price point, uh, I had to give this to the Nexus, even though Samsung is a cheaper price point at $199 compared to $299, Nexus 7 uh, just gives you a lot more bang for your buck, including double the storage and a lot of extras in terms of processor, graphics, and ex other things. So overall, guys, the Nexus 7 is the best 7-inch tablet on the market. Um, it's definitely a, a good way to go either one, but when it comes to a 7-inch tablet, the Nexus 7 is the best one on the market, hands down. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this video informative. Please give a like or thumbs up down below. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.